Here we are at the City Recital Hall in Angel Place, Sydney, where tonight we're going to be entertained with a magnificent gala concert, part of the Trinity Arts Festival celebrating 20 years. Tonight we're going to see various ensembles that the boys feature in, as well as the combined primary choir and the chapel choir. I can't wait to see what's in store. Let's take a look. Should be good fun. It's something that I've been attending every year, and this is the final year for my son. Oh, so he oh, finishes. That's almost, that's, it's very that's emotional. On my heart. Yes. <laughs> and so you've been uh, sort of aware and, and involved in the arts yes, program. Yes, I would coming every year. Many years. Yes, yes. Wow. Ever since he first started singing, and then he plays violin. Wow. And uh, yeah, so we've been here every year. I think it gives them a, a, a broader education, more than just books, more than just sport. It de really develops their cultural side and their artistic side. And uh, you know, we all, my family is involved in music a lot, and we just find that music is you know, something that drew us to Trinity. Here we are inside the City Recital Hall. Everybody's taking their seats, the excitement's building, the band's warming up. I'm very excited to hear what's in store. The very first act tonight is the Symphonic Wind Band. Let's take a look. Here we are in the belly of the City Recital Hall in Angel Place. I can hear the applause outside. The energy is electric back here. And I've just found the rehearsal schedule for the gala concert and I can see the boys have been working hard all day in preparation for tonight. Certainly prepared. To get to work with them, sounding like that, is just incredible. So exciting, so exciting. Boys, how do you feel after your amazing performance just then? Right. That was Over intense. Overwhelmed and yeah, tired. Yeah. Yeah. No, definitely all the, all the rehearsals, that um, all the hard work that we put in definitely paid off today. And we're really grateful to Mem and to yeah. Yeah, just everyone. Yeah. Everyone, everyone. Yeah. Everyone, yeah. everyone, everyone who contributed everyone to, to tonight. As a history teacher, it's a great opportunity for me to be able to do something that's out of my area of teaching and to be able to engage with the students in an area that I'm not having to mark them on. It's like being on the, the sporting field as a coach or to participate <coughs> with them. I am able to develop a rapport with them in a different way than the regular classroom. And to be able to see students perform and excel in areas that's not my field is a great thing and to see how much enjoyment and uh, achievement that they can have is very encouraging. Uh, and every year we see the most amazing performances produced at things like this evening. And to be able to see students rise to their greatest potential uh, is encouraging for us as teachers. Uh, so it's on a, a scale, it, it's... Um, unsurpassed in terms of being able to participate with students to be able to produce such amazing music and every year to see the caliber of students that we're, we're able to perform with, it's fantastic. Trinity offers a very high level arts program, it's very good in terms of sport and academics but 
in terms of their music, art and the creative side, it offers a lot more than most other schools I think in that term and yeah it's very good, the quality tonight has been excellent and I'm really proud of the boys. And I'm joined by Aiden. Now he is an old boy. He's a Trinitarian from way back. Well, not too way back, I don't think. But Aiden, you were part of the music program when you were here at the school. Yeah, I was. I was involved in um, a few of the bands in the orchestra here, and had a really just fantastic time all around. Music really prepares you well for a lot of things, other than just the academic side at school, um, and just giving you that kind of well-rounded education. And it's great, even having that sense of discipline that you learn from music, and I was in the marching band as well, so that really helps a lot for that. It's great to be involved in, to be honest, um, and then even just the little things that go around at school during this time of the Arts Festival are fantastic to just watch or be involved in, it's just a really fun time. They've wrapped it up a lot, even better. even better, and the singers, the song was so lively as well. Like, yeah, so, no, it's fantastic. So we're looking forward to the second half. I'm joined by Cameron. Now, Cameron, you actually went to Trinity yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I graduated in 2014, yeah, so I've been, been done for a couple of years now, yeah. Fantastic. Now, you actually, so you're on a scholarship for track running, but I believe that you actually were part of the music program or the arts program while you were over here at Trinity? I did a little bit. It's really good to get like up on stage and it definitely builds confidence that way, especially like with track as well. You kind of need the confidence to like perform and whatnot. So it's it's kind of similar in that, in that sense and I really enjoyed my experience here. Today we've had what, between two and three hundred boys performing and um, We've all done everything they know what to do. We've had the concert like this for a number of years here, using the same format. And the senior boys just take the lead off their games. It's kind of 7 o'clock every morning of the week, and the last rehearsal usually finishes around 5. So every day of the week, it's a So here we are at the conclusion of the gala concert here this evening. I'm joined by, I'm going to call her the Honourable Mrs Pratt, married to Director of Music Phil Pratt. Now, the dedication that the teachers at Trinity have here is, is outstanding, providing yes, these boys with an opportunity. Right across the board for the whole Festival of Arts, right the way through the drama, the art, the, the music, everything. And tonight's was the climax of all of it. It was just amazing. There you have it, the 2016 Gala Concert here at City Recital Hall in Angel Place. I have to say, what an outstanding performance it was tonight from all their ensembles and choirs. The noise in here is amazing, the excitement, the energy, it was just incredible. We look forward to seeing you all next year at the 2017 Gala Concert.